greenhouses that produce high-quality agricultural products using cutting-edge tech and facilities are commonly referred to now as smart farms. South Korea makes good use of these smart farms, and now the technology is advancing into Vietnam. Jong Eun-ju with this report. In Hanoi, Vietnam, daytime temperatures can reach up to 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. On top of that, it often rains and the climate is hot and humid. But to grow a certain type of crop, some smart farms in Vietnam have started off from the reverse idea of lowering the temperature rather than raising it. Fourteen cooling, Korean-made greenhouses have been built to grow kosul, a type of strawberry from South Korea that's popular in Vietnam. To lower the temperature near the roots, the plants are sprayed with cold water made using air conditioning. The greenhouses are also equipped with a ventilation system and double shading screens that block sunlight. Most importantly, in order to lower temperatures, the height of the greenhouse is 5 meters high, twice the height of greenhouses in South Korea. The joint venture using Korean-made greenhouses is aimed at boosting agricultural exchanges between the two countries. Today is a very meaningful day. Today's event is significant for the development of agriculture in Vietnam and South Korea. Built with support from the Korea Agriculture Technology Promotion Agency, this greenhouse will be operated by a South Korean company for the next five years until it is acquired by Vietnam. We anticipate the Smart Farm demonstration greenhouse to serve as a base for Vietnam's exports and as a base for South Korean companies to enter the Southeast Asian market. Shipments of South Korean strawberries that are popular in Vietnam and produced in this greenhouse will be made in the summer when they are out of season and cannot be imported. Tong Eun-ju, Arirang News.